Okay, this is the Yukon military stove, 1950, and I started it up on wood, and then I switched to waste vegetable oil and this burner, but I found out that I needed to add a extra little pan at the bottom because it was just not getting hot enough. See, so here's the, oops. There's a little uh, pan in there. And it needs that heat because the air comes in through here, the cold air. So it just doesn't get hot enough, this burner. So some of it drips out of it onto the pan right below it. And then here you see the uh, drip valve. See, you can see it's dripping right now. So this is where I can uh, regulate the flow and then it's still uh, leaking here. I've got another valve here but I need to fix that so that's why there's a dust pan underneath. And then there's a T here. Uh, so this this would be a different fuel. That could be a gasoline or, or something like that to start it up. And then here's a, another valve, needle valve for the uh, vegetable oil. And so then I've got it coiled around the stovepipe uh, to get it nice and hot, keep it hot, just like the car. And then here's a small reservoir. It's probably two gallons. So there's a little bit of oil left in there. I just uh, drill the hole in there and put the hose in there, the copper quarter-inch hose, or the pipe. And so then uh, I'll show you the outside. So it goes into a chimney here. It gets pretty hot. So right now the chimney is showing some smoke. I don't know if you can see it. So I don't know how well the combustion is. So that's something I still need to figure out because ideally I think you shouldn't be seeing any smoke and all that black fluffy stuff flying out the chimney. So. But that's something I'm still trying to figure 